going on guys? Back at it again with another Hellblade Senua Sacrifice video. Uh, in this one, we're basically going to be continuing on with the story. Uh, it's kind of trippy, I'm not going to lie, in a very, very good way. It was actually creeping me out a little bit in the very beginning. But in between last video and this video, I had to like do some really quick research and find out if this is actually a permadeath game which come to find out it is and i also found out that this game deals on mental health situations uh more specifically psychosis if i'm correct um i don't have much experience behind that or i don't really have too much knowledge behind psychosis so it was going to be interesting as an educational to some extent of course uh uh, uh you know aspect of playing this game on how it must be or feel like to have or go through psychosis so that's actually something that makes me even more excited to go through this game as a whole so uh there's that uh with that being said let's just go ahead and stop the yapping and just jump right into this gameplay um i'm not entirely sure what she's looking at because look no matter which way she looks she's like looking in that direction Oh, I forgot about that. What's this? The Northmen say that in the beginning, there was nothing but darkness. The bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice. And the first giant was born and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip and the power of the void gave life to it and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant that's right a cow but you weren't expecting that. <laughs> is that it okay then um those are pretty cool things man the they offer a lot of uh information i came from there i believe then i came that way so it's got to be over here somewhere that I have to go. Valraven, <clears throat> ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Oh, what the hell? What are those things? This reminds me of a Blair Witch Project. Valraven and defeat him the movie. Oh snap! Cannot be opened without it. Okay, follow the path to Val. I'm not gonna remember any of those names, man. Not gonna lie, I'm already bad with names as it is. Oh my god, dude, this is uh pretty cool. Very lush. What's up here? Oh, it's another uh, lore thing. A frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, while others fair. But there was another who came from the ice, Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son Bor took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. Okay. Um, again, it, it, it's the names and stuff like that, the mythology behind like L Norse and Celtic and all that kind of stuff, man. It's just kind of, it's hard for me to remember. Uh, I think mainly it has to do with the fact that I just don't understand it. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to be like, you know, rude or disrespectful to any specific culture, race, or anything like that. I just don't understand it. It's hard for me to grasp. My brain can't grasp that information. So, it's, it's, I don't know. It's hard to get into. I can like, I can sympathize and I can understand, uh, that they have their culture and that's cool. You know what I mean? But it's just hard for me to grasp it if I just can't understand it. 
My brain can't handle that information. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Find another way to see the truth. Find another way to see the truth. Is this a puzzle? Or is it just telling me to go around? Okay, so there's a bridge right here. What's that? It's a door. No, it's definitely a bridge. How do I do it? Oh. It's weird because there's no prompts, you know what I mean? It just kind of assumes that you're going to do it anyways. Alright. What is this? This almost looks like a door. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. That is trippy, dude. You guys saw that? The door completely changed. Like, it disappeared. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. So, uh, those voices are very interesting, man. It almost makes me want to walk instead of run or jog like this or whatever. Only because... They offer a lot of perspective on my surroundings and everything. And some of the things they say is pretty interesting so far. Although, I feel like a lot of times they're just talking shit. <laughs> See? So, I'm assuming these voices are not really there. It's just in my head, maybe? What is going on, dude? What the f Oh god. What is in here? This looks so trippy, dude. I think there's a door on the left, but I kind of want to see what's over here. Is that suggesting something's here? Well, I don't see anything. Alright. Well, let's try to go through the door. The no more voices. This place creeps me out, dude. I feel like something's watching me. Alright. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, I knew it. Oh my god, this guy looks trippy. He's the same guy that we fought last time, though. Haha. -ha. Oh yeah, I forgot the buttons are weird. Let's go! Oh my god, there's another one. What's up, homeboy? Oh! Judo kick! Oh god, another one? Oh my god, dude. Oh no! Nice try there, buddy. Hiya! It's nearly over. Finish. The combat. Although kind of primitive, it it feels great. And I, I the way the reason I say primitive is because the the buttons. Oh god, the buttons are all weird, man. Oh! Damn. Let's go. It's over for you, buddy. Oh my god! I almost screwed that one up. So it's like all the combat buttons are like the X, Y, B button, and then the parry button is the right bumper. So the buttons are very, very awkward. She will find what she's looking for. Damn straight I will. Yeah, they're very awkward, but... And I don't really like them, to be honest. I feel like they're backwards. Like, I feel like attacking should be the trigger, which is what it normally is. I'm sure I could, uh... What's it called? 
I'm sure I could remap them on my controller. Maybe. I don't know. What the hell is this? Do I have to focus? Um. The power of illusion comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Drew. Look around you. It's all different now. And he said, align those things? Oh, do I have to get up there and align them like that? Maybe? How do I get up there, though? I don't think that's the... Or maybe, I, maybe it is the case. Maybe I have to climb up here. Let me see. Can I climb? No. Um... Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Man, this game is trippy, dude. Oh my god, I love it. It kind of it, it gives me the creeps, dude, but in a good way. Like this game feels so good. The seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Align the ravens. I'm assuming that's what these white things are. Right? Oh wait, 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 wait! It made the same symbol. Focus. I did. That's. That was pretty cool, actually. So does that mean the door is going to open now? I mean, the spirits or the voices are saying that something's changed, so I'm pretty sure that uh, I can open it now. All right, what's this? into another world that looks the same but feels different than a monster world. Oh my god, were those eyes are those it's eyes watching me? It's watching. Yeah, it is. The spirit just said the forest is watching me. Wait, where the hell am I supposed to go? That way or that way? Um Wait, there's a door right there, so I think it's that way. Hey, well, at least it kind of looks like a door. It's kind of blurry because the sun's in my face. But what's all this stuff? Oh, I see another one of those trees that changes your perspective. Um. So it's like some of these are casting doubts. It looks like the voices. Okay, so I got another puzzle. So it looks like I gotta stand over there. I don't think this one's gonna be hard because there was a little platform in the middle. Wait, uh, no, wait, never mind. How do I get up there? I thought these stairs connected to that, but apparently not. So I think that's what this is for, though. It might add some stairs. Let me see. What changes? Nothing change. I hear something. If you hear the song, Raven, follow it, and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You can't always trust. Oh wait, there we go. Okay, so this opens this up, but where does this lead? Okay, there's something over here. What the f What is that? What is that? I don't like it. What the hell? What is that? Why is my sword out? I can't do anything. I'm literally getting the chills. Is it... It's pointing. Hold on. Is anything going to change? Oh, I think the skull tells me which direction it changes. 
Yeah, okay, I get it now. I'm starting to understand it a little bit. Alright, so where is the next illusionary wall or whatever you want to call them? This game is so trippy, dude. Oh, there's a bridge right here. Alright. It, it does seem pretty linear though. Oh my god, there he is again. I don't like that thing. I don't like that thing. It's so creepy. Oh my god. Fight me? Fight me? It's pointing again. It's it's I think it's not a bad guy though. It's telling me where to go. So it says go this way, but that skull is facing that way, so I'm pretty sure it changes this way. Before the tragedy. Right? Hold on, let me see. What changes though? Wait, hold on. No, it changes this way. Okay, so maybe I was wrong about the skull. There's a way left. Looks like a dead end though. So let's try coming over here. Let, let me go. See, some of some of these voices are just talking a lot of crap. And then some of them are encouraging me, it sounds like. And some of them are just giving me information. Wait, uh... Where does this go? Oh, wait, this is just the other side. Alright, let's go through here. Although there is upstairs. I kind of want to check upstairs before I go out of here, though. Let's go upstairs real fast. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to change. You never know now, man. It's like, nothing feels real. Oh, look. It's a it's pointing. Was this thing one of the real things again? Alright, let's see what changes. Wait a minute. Uh... Yeah, okay, so now there's stairs there. She can get up now. So now go down the stairs and just... I, I should be able to go now, right? This game legitimately trips me out, dude. In a very good way. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. Who's, who are they talking about? Alright, let's see what's over here. I should be able to go this way now. Alright, looks like I can go up. So this puzzle, these puzzles don't seem very difficult to be honest. It's just basically follow the road. Alright, now I'm here. So I should be able to just focus. Hell yeah. And now I can just go, right? At least I hope. Man. Is this... Is, is this suggesting... I don't know. I don't really... I should have done research on psychosis. So at least I could understand it better. Um, but to me it kind of feels and seems like all of this is not real. And it's all in her head. What does that mean? A primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. I don't know what that means. She can't get in. She can't go in there. Druth says there's another route? Barabba, he's there. <clears throat> Where? Oh my god, dude, this is trippy. Those voices are very scary. I don't think the game would have the same effect if it wasn't for those voices, though. What the hell is this? The last time we saw something like this, we got bad people, so. 
I'm almost expecting it at this point. I knew it. Let's go. I'm ready for you. Oh, crap. See, I almost... Ah! Oh, no. Let's go. Oh, no, there's another one. Oh, God, that scared the hell out of me. Oh. Come on. Let's go, Senua. You got this, girl. Oh. Oh. There's another one. No. Oh, no. I'm dead. I need to get back. All right. Come on. If I could kill one. No, 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 no. I died. Did I die? Stop it. She will die. Stop. I did die. Damn it. Damn. I how many deaths do you get before you legitimately die die? I feel like I'm going to fail the game. <laughs> Honestly, I think a lot of it has to do uh with the fact that the buttons are so weird. Once I get used to the buttons though, I should be fine. Um, the combat's very simple. Wait. All right, let's go, round two. All right, that was one. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh god, okay, so now there's two. Come on, baby. Come on. I need to get out of the way. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. You're close. I did it. Woo. I think knowing the fact that there's a permadeath mechanic in here makes it so much more nerve-wracking so in the beginning it said that once the i think they called it the rot reaches my brain the game is over completely so i'm kind of nervous for that all right let's check this out the northmen say that odin and his brothers killed emir and that the world of man was formed from his corpse they made his bones into stone and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Emir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Okay. Still not gonna understand that. <laughs> it's cool though. I love the scenery. I love everything about the uh, the world. I guess you could say. I, I I think it's just so foreign to me, man. It's just hard to grasp, you know. I'm sure if I play a lot more of these, you know, Nordic games or. You know, Celtic games and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it'll be easier for me to grasp and understand. But right now, since I don't and I don't know a lot, it's kind of hard to understand. No. Yes, I do actually. Loved ones. deep into the wilds. Oh God! It's another one of these things. Senua does. Oh, poor girl. Because when dark. 
returning home into a foreign land and loved ones, into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize <clears throat> that you were never really home in the first place. Yeah, that's deep. Those voices, man, I swear, are the creepiest things ever. Also, there's a bridge right here, it looks like. Where are we going? I'm not sure. This is literally just linear. There's nothing around here. So the... I've already died a handful of times. Uh, actually, I think I've died like twice already, man. This is... It, but I, on my defense, I don't think the first death counted because that was before I received the rot. Um, there's no bridge here. Is this something that's going to change? In time, I guess? Oh, there's a uh, door over there. I doubt it's going to open, though, to be honest. I don't see any... Uh, Things that change though. Maybe it'll change once I touch this. Oh my god. There he is again. So the. the okay, there's two of them? All right, so the the ravens, the ravens, I feel is not a bad guy because he keeps helping me. All right, I gotta find a way to get over there. All right, let me see what this changes. Okay, so this opens that door. Uh, but now I gotta find a way to actually get over there. Um, okay. It doesn't look very difficult, actually. I think I could just go around the same way I came from. Did I pass through it? I don't even remember. Wait, does this change anything? Oh, look, there's a bridge now. Look, Nagan. And now it's here. Nice. Is Dillian my ex love interest? Oh wait, yeah, duh. This is locked because I just opened up the wall, right? So now this is open because of that thing. Can I open it from this side? Yes, I can. So Druth is a deity, I'm assuming? And Dillian seems to be my love interest. All right, let's see what's up here. Um, nothing because I can't go that way. So let's try to go the opposite direction. Let's try going this way. So admittingly, this one's a lot more complicated only because there's a lot. A lot to take in. Well, there's nowhere to go over here. Huh. Let me see. Well. Um. Okay, so I opened the door, so I have a separate way. So if I... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. So this bridge disappeared because of that. So let's go back and see if maybe we can put that back on. Now that we opened the door... And we actually have access to get inside. Maybe I can use the bridge. Like where we climb the stairs. We're going to need that still, so... I don't want to use that illusionary wall. But one thing's for sure, I definitely need to use this one. Wait, is there one right here too? Oh, I mean, I guess I... I should have activated this too. Alright, so now it's closed. Just in case that this is wrong, I'm, I need to put down this bridge so that I don't have to go all the way around. 
which I guess isn't too bad. It's not that far, but still. All right, let's stay on the side with the bridge on. All right. I mean, I guess let's yeah. First things first. Let's go ahead and drop down this bridge. No, I'm not lost, you spirits. You guys are all just a figment of my imagination anyways. I think. <laughs> Alright, that's a just in case. But I should be able to walk across though, because there was a bridge that was missing. Or at least a chunk of it, but that's because we had that wall completely removed. I should have checked inside that hole too though. Alright, let's see here. See, this is the part that was gone. Oh, there's another one of these things. So what does this change? I don't see anything. Maybe it changes this way? I don't see anything different. Am I am I tripping, dude? I can't see anything. I literally don't see a difference. Let's just walk through it just in case. Wait, what's over here? Um, what the hell's going on? Hold on, let's go through this hole real quick. Oh, it's another lore thing. Alright, we'll listen to it real quick. The Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. <laughs> they tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. What? For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry, and gathered them in his mind and learned them. Then he fell from the tree. Damn, that one was a little... brutal. Is that all that's over here? I think so. So there was like some weird like imagery that was starting to pop up over here. So there's something going on now it kind of seems like. What's going on? Where do I go now? Um Maybe this way? Oh no, it's, it can't. Or maybe it is. Hold on. There was another way that we could have went to So what does this do? How do I get that? I don't see this changing anything either. But it's pointing. Wait, was that? Okay, I see what it changed. All right, so now I gotta go this way and potentially use that log or something, whatever that is. Oh God, dude, I gotta be careful. All right, good. All right, so now he's pointing that way. Um. Is there stairs maybe? Oh, okay, good, right here. A 
Okay. Is there another one of those illusionary walls around here somewhere? Yep, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. A lot of them. A lot of them disappear. The ravens. The ravens. They're gone. They're gone. No, half of them have gone. They're gone. Some are still there. But where? Yeah, it seems like they're helping. It's true. Quiet. Out in the wild. In the cold winter woods. She no longer felt fit for this world. Oh, that's sad. She almost gave in to the darkness. So it seems like the ravens are good guys, though. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on. And kill that which had become a part of her. All right, but now we have a different problem. Where do I have to go to unlock the door? This puzzle is very big. You know what? I think it might be where we were just at. Because I think from up there we have a better view of the door. No, but then you can't even see it properly. Um. Alright, so I don't see... Alright, let's try it. Since that thing is pointing over here, there's got to be something that I missed up here, right? Let's see if I could even uh, focus on it from here. Um, so this can't be the way. Actually, you know what? Maybe we were supposed to come here first and then go to the one on the opposite side. So let's go do that. Or let's go to the other side and maybe we'll find something else or maybe even the majority of these the the other half of these are just gonna disappear and just leave the ones that I need that's also a possibility right so let's check out the other side luckily we uh, found a shortcut and it's not very tough to get there either so there's also that our running animation is pretty slow though <laughs> All right, and that's probably explains why we didn't see uh, any change on this one. Maybe we needed to use the other one first. All right, let me see here. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Yeah, see, now they're all gone. And those are the three I need. Looking back, I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. That's kind of sad, man. All right, so I gotta get to these things. Shape, sound, thought, grow in strength until they consumed her whole. This way. Before she knew. And it's close. Right there. Alright, I think I gotta get closer. There it goes. Wait. There we go. Oh. I let go too early. The gate is open. Open. Yay! This one was a lot tougher than the last one. But we did it. Yet, I'll know at her. Biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. So it is a bad guy. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Uh, yeah, this is definitely interesting.
All right, what do we got here? Yeah, that puzzle. There he is. Oh, he's not there anymore. He disappeared. Is this where he lives? Is this his nest? All right, let's go ahead and uh, activate this one. Looks like we got another puzzle. Oh no, so this is this is Val Raven. We both sent darkness. We can fight it together. Okay. Um Um let me see. I need one of those illusionary walls. Okay, I can't even come this way. I don't see an illusionary wall anywhere though. Or am I tripping? Oh, I have I have to actually get on the crow's nest to line those up. But how do I get up there? All right, so I went up that way. Let's try going this way now. There's gotta be one of those illusionary wall thingies around here somewhere. There we go. All right, what does this change? Oh, there's a, a log now. So let's go around, and now let's go back down. We should be able to go Speak down. To me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. The Northman captured Finden's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Drew was born. Oh. Drew. The man that I am now. Cool. He just basically told no me a story of himself. Never set eyes on his dear sister again. I, Drew, have found you, Senua. Is he... In she could have seen my home. Is he saying that I'm like his sister? Let's unlock this shortcut. All right. So these puzzles are not super overwhelmingly difficult. How do I unlock? Oh. Um, huh. Maybe I have to do this shortcut again? Oh, wait. Um, no, yeah, the thing is still up there. Oh, yeah. So there's another stick, right? No, wait. I'm uh I'm a little confused now. All right, let's try to go back down. 
There appears to be a, a little road stick right here. But how do I get on it? Okay, right here. So I missed it the first time I came through here. When I unlocked the shortcut. I gotta be careful because I'm pretty sure this drop, although realistically I probably wouldn't die. Oh, fuck that. In the game, I'm sure I will. Be careful, Senua. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I've already fallen once. I did it. Now I'm going to have to go backwards, though, aren't I? Oh, my God. It's coming back for me. Did I die? I'm still here. Are you too? Where are we? I remember. What's going on? It didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. Am I being you can overcome the darkness. eaten? Make sense of it. And once relief settles in, strong sun is nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom, drowning the mind in fear, deeper, deeper, driving you down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. There, in the darkness. And she remembered what he told her. It's, uh... Hear me. Reach out to me. Senua. It's truth. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. Iron mirror? This is a window into the underworld. Within... I think it's eating me. ...this of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to... You will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. 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 Oh. It's a boss fight, isn't it? You trapped me there. Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong, homeboy. Oh, snap. I guess not. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's do this. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, that was badass. Let's go. Shut your ass up. Wait, it disappeared. It disappeared. Oh, there you are. Oh, I remember you. Oh, don't put your arms up like you're gonna do anything. Get the hell out of here. Let's go. They're not overwhelming. Oh, snap. Oh, God. Oh, no. I gotta get out of the way. Come on, baby. Oh, what the hell? How did he hit me? I'm scared. Come on. Oh, snap. Woo! Oh, he's back. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. What's up? Let's go. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Oh, I love Senua so much, man. I feel like... Let's go. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Oh, 
Oh, shut your ass up. I'm gonna beat this guy's ass so good. No! Oh, that should have been a block. Oh, no! Come on! Charge attack! Uh. Oh, I was pushing the wrong button. Oh, God. Damn, dude, this battle is so good. Oh, come on. That was a block. Let's go. Oh, I thought I won. There you go. Uh. What do you want? Oh. I think I'm supposed to juke those. Let's go. Oh. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, dude. I'm so weak right now. No! Oh! No! I gotta get out of the way. Come on. I think I can finish this guy off. No! Oh my god, there's so many of them. All right, let's go. I need a reset for a second. Okay, I think I think he's dead. No. Oh no, I'm dead. All right, let's restart. Oh, no. Come on! Oh my god, I did it! Focus! Focus? Oh! This is a cool mechanic, dude! I think I'm at I think I'm about to beat him though. Oh. Oh no 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 no. Come on, let's do this. All right, let's do this again. Come on. Oh, I died. Oh. You're not gonna beat me. You're not gonna beat me. I knew it. Thank God. Oh, that was pretty challenging. It was an illusion. But not this time. Oh, is this like. I'm so proud of her, dude. Oh my God. That was so good. The mark of Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory, bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wild and the wilds, there were times when she considered Letting go. If it weren't for truth, for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would and she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. I still hear you. Aww. 
Valran. That was so good. That was so good. Uh, but unfortunately, that's going to have to do it for this video. Uh, she's looking over there, so I'm pretty sure there's like uh, a lore thing over there maybe. But uh, we're going to definitely call it a video right here right now, guys. This one was so good. Oh my god, I liked it so much. This boss was so well done in my opinion. And the voices surprisingly helped me with that fight. When the thing changed, when Valran or whatever his name is changed, they were saying focus, 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 and it instantly made me remember that focusing makes me see things differently. Since he looked different, maybe I could see him differently, and yeah, I mean it worked out, and it was pretty good because I had managed to defeat him first try, although I might, I might have uh, almost died a couple times here and there. But overall, this one was a very good part of the game so far. I really enjoyed it so much. If you enjoyed it too though, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.